Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new series on Nova Drift, the action roguelike bullet hell super customizable very fun game that we did a video on yesterday and quite frankly I just I needed to make a series on it immediately. The game is so fun, uh, there seems like there's so much depth to it and I'm very interested to see what that is. I don't know if this is going to be a long series or a mini series, that entirely depends on support so as you watch this video if you want more of it, likes and comments are appreciated then but only do that if you want more of this uploaded on this channel this is not me being like please like like the video before anything has even happened this is me saying if you enjoy this later on in the video make sure to do those things if you want more of it but nova drift as i said is a bullet hell a bullet hell-esque space shoot 'em up with all kinds of wild customization to it currently it's just asteroids you know but, uh, yeah, we're gonna get our enemies, we're gonna get the ability to level up, change our weapons, change our shields, change our ship. Uh, oh, hold on. I changed my... Speaking of changing, I also changed my key bindings. Where the heck is the... What's the level up hotkey? Upgrade? Upgrade? No? I mean, it probably says, doesn't it? Ready to upgrade. <laughs> did we did we just remove the ability to upgrade? So actually there's no uh actually there's no upgrades in this game. Enter, 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 enter. I thought that that was um Okay. I thought that that was saying the uh, pick the upgrade here. So we get the option of the flak weapon, the salvo, or the torrent. I don't think we've did we've done the salvo in that last video that we did. Uh, deploy a stockpile of wild heat-seeking missiles while not firing you stockpile more missiles over time when you fire your stockpile is also rapidly deployed modifiers to rate of fire f <laughs> stockpile rate modifiers to <laughs> projectile count provide plus 50 percent stockpile rate for each this is okay it's a ridiculous amount of uh of stuff there okay cease fire to stockpile missiles i see it right there so basically the longer we go without uh firing the more we have stockpiled i don't know how high it goes ah it just keeps going. I feel like we don't, like, early on right here, we probably just don't want to bother with with stockpiling. Like, I think that stockpiling will make more sense when we're uh, a little bit later on. Do these give us experience? No. Yes, they do. Cool. But for now, I think we just want to bop everything that shows up in our face here. So we get the option of a couple different shields here. Shield Halo. It is a ring around us that's going to burn enemies, but also, if that is burning enemies, we take shield damage? I, I have not tried it yet. It seems a little wild. Fragile shield that boosts thrust and weapon damage while active. Bonus thrust and total weapon damage while amp is active. I believe that means... While well, amp is active. While we have shield? Question mark? I, that's my guess. Shield warp when destroyed, the shield teleports you a distance equal to the shield effect radius. Creates a deadly pulse at the source and destination points. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, visually it's really, really slick. So the fun thing is, yeah, I think that the shield changes the color of your character, which is a really slick thing. Like, they they really did a... I don't know. Like, it's fun to get the weapons, it's fun to get the, the bodies that we're going to get next. But they really did a good job of making everything feel like a, a very fun... And, uh, ooh, worthwhile pick. Blast them! Okay, so this salvo seems really, really neat. I'm sure there's going to be some uh, very logical ways to build everything. Reminder, I, I'm brand new. I'm, like, brand new, so don't, <laughs> don't, uh, don't get too mad if I'm not doing things optimally. Give me a little bit of time, and I will, uh, I will blast this. Hull breaker. Crash damage to targets is boosted by high speed. So this is the bumper car build. When crashing head-on, you penetrate, destroy targets. Okay. Hull crash damage resistance up by a lot. Recovery rate up. Maximum shields down. Rate of fire down. So that's very much just like a... Just a run into them build. You automatically assemble and deploy swarm constructs, which apply vulnerability to targets. While a damaged shield... While a damaged shield protects you, a portion of the swarm constructs are, <laughs> are assigned to recover your shield... Well, your shield is down or you have no shield, swarm constructs gain increased movement speed and rate of fire. But we do we get a reduced, slight reduced rate of fire, which I uh, I want to take a peek. How does that modify our stockpile stuff? Uh, let's see. 
So, okay, so we're going to stockpile a little bit slower. That makes sense. It's still going pretty darn quick. And look at all these little friends we get. Oh, I love that. All right, so we're going to get our first upgrade. We could obviously change our stuff down here. Uh, every level now, we get to either pick a mod or we could change our gear if we're really feeling like we want to uh, switch things up. I think I'm good for now. Mines, ally, assemble an ally, projectile velocity. Was there something to do with velocity? Swarm constructs, type basic construct, where they construct the limit for, I, oh my god. A lot, we get a lot of friends, basically. So, projectile count inc provides increased stockpile rate. Okay, that's kind of nice, too. So, we also do have the ability to re-roll this. Size, damage, blast radius. Sure. Whoop. We have the damage, or the ability to re-roll stuff, which is pretty darn cool. We get quite a few right off the bat. If we're just not really seeing anything we enjoy that much, we can change it. All right, all right. This weapon is feeling very, very strong. I got to make sure we do pick up all of the experience there. Oh my God, we are leveling up fast and fierce. Greatly increases weapon damage, increases projectile size and a blast radius. Primary projectiles split into weaker ones. I have a feeling that will not help us with the uh, the stockpile. Sounds good. I feel like it, uh, there might have been a downside to it that I didn't see. Ah, minus rate of fire. That's, you know what? That's okay. I feel like that's all right. We Obviously, we will want to uh, change that in the future. All right, I think I want it. He's going to be coming up, up here. Nope. I want to make sure we hit with all these... <laughs> All right, so we got an extra re-roll. I don't know why. Maybe it just happened to be the thing that guy dropped. Upgrade again already. Charge shot. Apparently, we did not learn to do this. Hold fire to charge a weapon. I, no, I did, I did that at the end of the video. Somebody said I wasn't doing that. Rate of fire affects charge rate. I don't know how this... Does this work with this? I don't know. For weapons with more than one base projectile, charging improves. Let's see how it goes. All right. I mean, we kind of like generally want to wait a little bit before our shots anyways. This seems like a good, like it works really well together. Okay. I am, uh, I'm quite a fan of what we are doing here. We still can tap shoot. It seems like we are shooting an extra projectile on our tap shoot than we were before anyway. So it seems like even in the, the tap shoot scenario, the charge may even be helping us there. Uh, weaker, slower, projectile velocity, minus blast radius. Let's improve our targeting before we move into something like that. So these should have better homing capabilities now. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see about that. Okay. I mean, yeah. All right. I will say this is. Uh, I'm feeling pretty, pretty darn strong. Oh, supernova! Oh, wow. it just like absolutely obliterating. Absolutely obliterating. All right. I wouldn't hate more shots now. Slows projectiles greatly improves projectile targeting. I know that we also got a reduced uh, rate of fire as a result. If they truly are greatly increased, yeah, they are greatly increased, then I think that this could be a, a very worthy trade-off because we're firing so many shots and so many of them are missing. Kinetic boost, global damage increases your speed does, improve your thrust, homing strike. Extra shots coming from the, uh, the sides, rate of fire. Should we maybe just get a rate of fire up to uh, to kind of like cover the uh, the losses that we've been taking to it, I guess? That might be a good idea. There's a reroll up there. Oh, 
we've not re-rolled a single time. I, I think that that's something that'll come in, you know, a lot of times when you've uh, started to understand the game more. Why are we going rainbow? Plus re-roll. I don't know. I don't know why we just started going rainbow there, but I'm for it. It looked pretty cool. Oh, there's some experience over there. Oh, well. Get close to it and see if we can pick it up. We are very, very, very slow. That is definitely a downside of this. I want to call it a character, but that's not the that's not the case. Ability to stabilize your momentum or reverse thrust. I mean, that seems pretty cool. Projectile velocity. An ally. That sounds kind of nice. Automated drones. Advanced autonomous ally. So we would get two of these. They do damage. Kind of. I'm, I'm assuming they're kind of like a turret. Let's go with the. Uh, we, 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 oh, apparently we leveled up twice. Autonomous ally there. Uh, stacking buff to rate of fire and speed when you kill. That sounds kind of nice. Let's do it. Warpath. <laughs> okay. I feel like... I feel unbelievably strong right now. Uh, evasion lets your ally dodge attacks. Or we could get him to... Ally regenerates 2% of its maximum hull. Burst fire. Eh. I feel like blast radius sounds nice. Non-explosive projectiles deal 15% damage as blast damage to other targets. I think that we have explosive projectiles. I'm pretty sure. All right, that blast radius up seems seems pretty pretty noticeable actually. The size there. All right, here we're gonna do it. We're gonna sneak these shots right in the middle here of the big boy. Hello, sir. Good morning. We can obviously like continue to stockpile and stockpile and stockpile all we want. I'm going in. Oh my god, we are so beefy. We can do damage to it from the outside as well. It just doesn't really matter even. I wonder if we can get like an AoE that's so big that we actually hit those little uh, weak points in the middle from the outside. Greatly increased blast radius. Greatly reduces the blast radius, but increases the blast damage. Ooh. Let's do it. Since we have like the super homing apparently... That sounds like a really nice time. Oh my god. That was a big old chunky hit. Now that we are getting so darn powerful. Oh, look at that. They're, oh, that's adorable. They are restoring my shield. That's the first time I've seen that. It may be the first time it's even happened. I don't, I don't remember. We might want to go for some kind of like hull. Wait, rupture. Wait, enemies... Rupture when destroyed, dealing blast damage to nearby enemies. Rupture damage is equal to 3% of the destroyed enemy's max hull. Okay, well, that sounds amazing, especially since we took the uh, tiny radius downgrade. If there was any any question that we had uh, good AoE damage, it, uh, it's been rectified immediately. We are bumping. Absolutely bumping. Hull strength, extra maximum hull, plating, reduce hull damage by flat value. You know what? Yeah, let's... Oh, we could get this also. I think that's fine. Let's get a little bit of hull strength. Like, like, let's be let's be a good boy. Let's get some, some ways to actually protect ourselves a little bit more here. Protect Papa! Protect the Papa ship, my children. Oops. I got a boost from something. Is it just like... Maybe it's just like an item we pick up. Okay. Good morning. Goodbye. Yeah, I mean... If anybody's like, why is he not charging up that much? Well, right now it's because I think we get more benefit from just like blasting. <laughs> oh my god. When we get more enemies that are, like, larger, we will obviously be doing charge-up shots. But for now, I think we're just good to do this. 
plating, plus three plating. Plating reduces hull damage taken by a flat amount. Okay, providing protection against rapid light damage. That sounds kind of nice. We could re-roll, but... As I said, eh. I don't know. I don't know enough about what the uh, options and combos and synergies really are yet to know exactly what I'm looking for. Good morning. Good morning. Give me a boss. I want to unleash like a full charge on a boss. And he actually took the hit. Oh my god. I was not expecting I was not expecting him to live. Force armor, maybe. Plus minus blast radius and total projectile damage plus spread. Uh, additional projectiles, additional projectile targeting, minus velocity, rate of fire, and projectile size. I, you know what? Let's see. Oh boy, hello. Well, that wasn't great. Oh, protect me! Okay, well, that was really good. Payload! Okay, well we're 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 totally fine. Our damage is I was worried our damage was going to uh enter the pooper. The old toilet. But no. We are we are totally fine there. Okay. What do we want? I think I might re well, no, let's get splinter. We got some pretty ridiculous chain reaction stuff going on now. As we uh, kill enemies, they will, like, our shots will split. And then also, the enemies will uh, will spread their, <laughs> their HP as damage. Oh, it's crazy. Does the experience just, like, float around until it's picked up? Like, does it loop around the sides like we do? Okay. Bloop. Big old blast, and okay. Like, it, there's clearly a shield on the front, so like maybe if we get around it, but that that's not really a strength that we have. Larger, tougher, and slower. Oh boy, that that is a, that is a very interesting idea that I definitely do not hate. I even forgot. Have we never had our shield broken? Wait, what? I'm sure we have, right? Oh. We really can just tap shoot at the moment. Yeah, I think we benefit from just uh, tap shooting at the moment. Maybe, oh, maybe not against that guy. Oh, we are in uh, we are in slight issue, uh, issueville. And goodbye. I was really banking on that break, and if it didn't, then we would have been uh, in trouble. Was kind of hoping that the shots would maybe like home around to the back. I mean, because I'm assuming he's weaker in the back. Very good. That guy seems like he's probably oh, extra weak to... Oh, my God. All right. Uh, should we get force armor? Hull damage resistance. Crash. Just, like, literally for the immediate scenario, effectively, I kind of was worried about ourselves. So. Hello. Goodbye. Worm man. Should I ever get some velocity? That it does increase our weapon damage. Hmm. Calibration could be interesting. Shield regeneration rates. 
Oh, interesting. So we could really buff up our hull, but we have no shield. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Uh, shield cooldown. Let's do that for now. Let's... Oh, I was not ready to have an enemy in my face. Let's come around the other side here. I love how many little uh, little fools we're getting. I forgot what uh, what increases that. Is it just our level? Four plus one for every two levels. Cool. I don't think there's another way to uh, to buff them up, but they're really like they're putting in a lot of work for me. Nanotech reconstruction. That's just for our one ally. Let's get some more shots. Let's get stupid. Oh my. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh, was that, that wasn't a boss, was it? No, it couldn't be. Couldn't have been. Yeah, these shots are flying every which way. Okay. Good morning. Strengthens the central projectile, increases the projectile spread. Uh, reduces projectile spread. Let's do that. Let's reduce it just by a little bit. So that we have a little bit more of a choice of uh, what we're targeting here. Extra reroll. Oh, you are in for a treat, my friend, if I can hit you. I can. Were you a boss? No. Couldn't be. Couldn't be. It's, it's just everything we do. Everything we do is chaos. This game is so fantastic, man. Just like... Hello. <laughs> the build feels like it's uh, really extra good as well. All right. I can't tell. Are you a boss? You're a, a boss or like a mini boss. You were. Correction. Okay, just being a little cautious with my shield there, if I can. All right, fire even more projectiles, even weaker and even slower. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. That increases our charge rate. Oh my! What the hell is happening? We all right? We finally got that teleport to happen. That was a nasty, nasty uh, little room there. I, I would call it a room. I'm so used to. There being rooms everywhere in my roguelikes. This little aura around me that's doing the little little kind of uh, bubbly effect is looking really, really nice. These shots are like staying on the screen for 12 years. I was trying to be cheeky and slip off the screen to get this guy. Seems like my damage may have uh, may have tanked. I may have, oh, I may have tanked my damage. Let's get some velocity to hopefully make up for that a little bit. Oh boy, we are not very quick. We're not very quick, so dodging is going to be a little bit on the uh, the tricky side here. Oop, but that's kind of the that's the downside of. The character we are playing as, I guess. I can't remember if that was actually a stat downgrade we got, or if it just is because we haven't really, in oops, really invested in it. Both are valid and possible. Oh, I love seeing my little my little boys show up and uh, restore my shield for for Papa Ship. Hull regenerates at a rate proportional to the maximum hull. All right. Oh boy, that could have been gross. Goes, yeah, that goes right through the shield. It just doesn't even matter. Oh boy. When are we gonna run into a real problem? He says, surely, inevitably, before he runs into a real problem.
Okay. Should we just be tap shooting for now? I think we... Like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn between tap shooting and charging, bef like, in between waves. It seems like just tapping is working better. Proofs maximum shields... When your shield breaks, it discharges violently, devastating nearby targets for 1,200 damage and plus 5 max shields. Let's do it. If we're in the, like, oh my god. In the event of somebody charging us down to break our shields is what I was going to say. I'm going to be very happy that we have that. And what just happened immediately? Someone charged us down and broke our shields. Was that a boss? Was that a boss? Couldn't have been. No, it couldn't have been. That's the boss. Okay. Oh, boy. There's a bunch of experience up there. He's got like a sniper shot on him. This guy is wild. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we want? Thrust. I think getting like a little bit of improved thrust to dodge that shot could be very beneficial for us. We get benefits uh, just from dodging around for a little while. Because we do just stockpile our shots. So it's not like it's a downside. We do definitely... Ah, do better in the, oh no, the event that there's ads nearby, enemies nearby that we can, like, AoE clear. So we just go in in a circle, right? Just slowly but surely. Okay. Oh, where am I? Did I do it? I did it. Oh, man. That was nasty. That was nasty. That ah, was super nasty, but we're alive. I do. I know I have an upgrade, but I'm kind of just trying to uh, pay attention and piece together everything that's uh, happening on the screen for a second first, and then maybe we just do two at once, anyways. All right. So we're we're playing endless, I think, if I remember correctly. This is just for early access. This is the only way you can play. I think we just go until we get blown the hell up. Huh. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, often enemies are far from us because we're just standing in the middle and pressing the fire button. Okay. The question is, like, is it a percentage base or a flat damage increase based off distance? If it's a flat damage increase based off of distance then that is incredibly busted for us. Um... Yeah... This seems better with uh, single shots. Not really with the multi-shots that we've got going on right now. Let's re-roll. Bonus for total projectile damage and blast radius for the central projectile. Sure. I don't know what our central projectile even is. It seems like we might not even have one. Singularity detective. So, if we, uh, yeah, if we, like, get in the middle of that, we die. Don't ask how I know. Yo! Oh! I feel like if we didn't get that thruster upgrade, we would have just lost right there. Oh my god, that's so stressful. Does it... I, I wasn't even paying attention. Does it harm the enemies as well? Because, I mean, if you have, like, good enough thrusters and you're paying attention, I'd be like... It could even be, like, a, a good event. Okay. Yo, stinking worms. 
Regenerative shields. Shield regeneration. Shields regenerate proportionally max shield. The shields down hold regenerates at 100% effect. It seems like a good good call. We have like the AOE nuke on uh, on attack if we do get hit. Oh my god, things are getting things are getting towards Sillyville. There's stuff on the screen all the time, and so much of it. Oh boy. Okay, wave 115. I was about to ask how many waves are there. Endless. Dude. Oh boy. I was trying to sneaky slide through that there. Okay, let's get this upgrade. Uh, Calibrate your weapon when not firing. Maybe. Do more damage the more damaged you are. Oh boy, run. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I think we're really good against that type of enemy cuz like the segments maybe uh maybe count as an enemy killed kind of for the uh, the splash damage effect. Appears to maybe be the case. Oh. We want to get away from this thing. He is a big bomb. All right. I mean, I don't know. Like, could we go forever? No. Does it feel like it at the moment? Yeah. I feel very strong at the moment. Let's get that homing strikes from the side. Why not? Just fire two extra shots. Maybe those shots that come out from the side do a little bit more damage, though, than our uh, normal missiles. Since we've split them up so much. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. That wrecks our shield. Super happy we have the teleporting shield right now. I feel like the charge and the salvo shot t together are, like, iconic duo. I think I cracked the code. Where am I? Oh, okay, 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 okay. We've got the sun in the middle of the screen, too, now blinding us. I know I have the upgrade. Oh, I don't have an upgrade. Uh, now I have an upgrade. I know I now have an upgrade. Max shields. If a hit to your shield exceeds 25 damage, the damage is reduced to 25. I I would really like to get that. Kind of like I just I really think if we're going to die, it's going to be from like a moment of burst. So getting something like that could be really helpful. Good morning. Holy cannoli, they are really stacking up here. Wave 130! Bosses gone. I mean, they're like mini bosses, right? Especially at this point. Like, 130? Because I'm pretty sure it's every 20 is like a normal boss, so. I think it was really just like, hey, we, we need new enemies to be normal enemies, and you're so darn strong. So, bosses are now regular enemies. Cool. Cool. <laughs> That's what they're, they're just like, sure. How else are we going to take this man down? Yeah, that's what I wanted. That was the burst damage protection to our shields. Oop. Please. Oh my god. I wonder what a good distance to go is. We didn't even lose our uh, lose our shield there. Ooh. Okay. Please no. Please no, sir. This guy seems to be one of the few enemies that actually causes uh, ooh, a little bit of a ruckus with how much HP it has. 
All right. Almost got 200,000 points. Is that good? I don't know. Probably not. All right, what do we got? Makes you faster, smaller at the cost of max hull, or bigger, tougher, and slower. Further improve shield cooldown at the cost of max shields. Uh, it's 25 shields, not 25% shields, right? I think so. Targets take more global damage. The more damage you are, up to plus 50%. Sure. Again, in the event that we're, like, getting pummeled by something, somebody, like, ever causes a, a problem for us, they will no longer. Yep. 50! Blast them! Is that... What is that? What is that big orb? Is it going to be an explosion, or was it an... I think it was just an attack. That was just left over. Wave 150. Definitely better than anything we did in the, uh, the Let's Try video. Oop. Alright, this is getting kind of ridiculous. It's getting kind of ridiculous. What do you got? The drones. Shield effect radius. That makes us teleport further. Activates effects secondary shield effects. It's short. Oh boy. So now we'll teleport further a little bit, I guess, right? If we uh, if we do get hit and we lose our shield, that could be good. We do damage where we end up and where we start. It's pretty good. 12 years later. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> why move? Oh, that's why. <laughs> why move? It's okay. Our little uh, our little buddy boys are going to be restoring our shields for us. Okay. Ah, this guy's got like a pretty decent way to protect himself from my shots. He has like actual these actual orbs full on blocking the shots. Yeah, this is the way to. Yeah. That was just I, I saw our opportunity. That was that was when we had to get in there and go since we don't have uh we're not very precise with our sh our bullet spread right now. It is very much just a uh, a big old screen covering blaster. Oh, oh my god. Our shield didn't even break. I swear that 25 uh the, the thing that makes it so that we can only take 25 shield damage is going to make me go for an extra 20 minutes. Past when I normally would have died, whenever that would have been. Okay. Whoop. Oh my god. It's just the chain reaction central is just ludicrous. Uh, shield effect radius to the cost of max shield and shield cooldown. Increase shield effect power at the cost of shield radius. Also max shield. Oh god. Greatly increase shield effectiveness at the cost of the maximum hull. Hmm. We have 23 rerolls. Uh, boy, I wish I knew what I wanted. When you take a sh uh, shield hit, your shield discharges damage. Uh, okay, damage energy, good stuff. Okay. 
So just an, another way to uh, have mutually assured their destruction in the event that we actually have issues. Ooh, uh, my hard counter. Oh boy. Oh boy. The good news is it seemed like his hard counter is just flying off the screen and looping. An asteroid looping. Okay, that guy just like spawned on me? Question mark? Maybe? Oh, Nelly! I want to release a burst of like 100 shots, but we're not really. They're not giving us downtime for that. Yeah, this is, see, look what's happening when we... Alright, here comes the 100 shot burst. It's pretty good. If you're into that sort of thing. You know, doing a lot of damage. Oop. I'm up here now. Goodbye. Sneak through the middle. Turn around and blast. Sneak, turn around, blast. I should not have gone into that big giant orb there. That is for sure. As chaotic as these waves are, this is like the kind of uh, wave clear we shine at, of course. Oh, not good. But hey, that shield thing definitely helped us out there. Are we running are we running out of things that we can even upgrade? I don't really move I don't want to move very fast. Fine, let's get stabilization. So now we can even move backwards. Oh boy. Bruh! Duh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, this guy may ruin me a little bit. Did we get him? We did. Hello, sir. So we like keep on firing for a while. Oh my god. Where am I? Okay. I didn't teleport very far. Alright. Unleash the shots. Ooh. I mean, the enemy's health has to be going up by, like, a lot, right? It's, like, slowly scaling up and up. It's my guess. What wave are we on? Are we gonna get... We're not gonna get to 200, are we? Oh! Nope. Not like that. <laughs> the answer is no. Uh, yeah. We got blasted. We got blasted. We unlocked, oh my god, so many things. Just keeps going. Okay, so we unlocked Vortex, a weapon that expends hull to charge up and release a slow-moving rolling Vortex. Get <laughs> to the random weapon pool. Uh, an extra reroll per game. I love it. That is so elegant. Such an elegant way to help with item bloat. It's like, here you go. You're getting new stuff. You may not necessarily like it, so here's more rerolls per run at the same time. That's super elegant. Uh, challenge mode unlocked. The starting wave is increased by 12. Oh, boy. New mod tree, turret. Assemble and deploy rapid fire machine turrets. This mod appears in the random mod pool. Uh, candescence. A oh, appears in the mod pool at 8. Increased burn damage. Extra reroll. Uh, bulky, slower frame that fires additional projectiles from its broadside. Cool. Uh, bastion shield, arc-shaped, regenerative physical bearer that stores enemy energy from block damage. Gear enter the random shield pool. Extra reroll. Wow, like a lot of, they give you like a lot of extra rerolls. Where are we at compared to our others? G. G, it's a little better. We did a great job. I I'm happy.
That is going to do it here for our first episode of Nova Drift. I'm not going to say all of them are going to be uh, so strong, so good. Uh, we might, you know, it, it, we'll probably roughly keep the episodes around this length or may maybe a little bit less. Who knows? Depends. Maybe we'll slam in extra two runs if we have terrible, terrible time uh, with our build or whatever. But that's going to do it for today. If you enjoy the video, like I said at the beginning, if you enjoy the video only, only if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment down below. Those are two ways to help keep Nova Drift on this channel and help spread the word about this channel. I'm like outrageously close to 100,000 subscribers, which I've been working at this channel for over eight years, almost, almost nine, eight years, eight plus years or nine. I can't remember. Uh, nine, nine years. Uh, and uh, <laughs> holy moly. And I just would love to hit that goal. Uh, very soon here that would be that'd be amazing uh but hey check out my channel for roguelikes and more every single day if this is the kind of game you are into please do yourself a favor check out my check out my channel i can show you all kinds of amazing games in a similar vein i, I think that i'm a worthy subscribe personally if you are into that that genre i can show you all kinds of stuff all the time tons of videos every single day thank you thank you and i will see you next time bye